What is going on, people? This is T Money. Well, let's talk about the AKA, okay? The AKA situation, you know, rest in peace, AKA. It's a lot that people are saying about AKA, okay? And I don't want to even get into the conspiracies. I don't want to get into the whatever is going on. But I was watching the news that the police actually released the statement saying that they believe this was some sort of like assassination. This is insane this is starting to get out of control you know a lot of celebrities and a lot of high a class celebrities getting attacked in south africa this is getting out of hand this is probably the third person that got uh, deleted within the period of four months and this is just out of out of this world but let's talk about how a, a lot of people were saying you know you know i don't know the kind of personality that aka was but according to what i was seeing because i watched the memorial service a lot of people were saying really really good stuff about um aka but the most emotional speech was by uh the younger chief I think that's that's his name. That was the most most emotional because I was not even aware that young uh, younger chief um, he was so close to uh, to AKA. You know, he actually did a, a little prayer because apparently when his um, cousin passed away, um, AKA did a, a, you know call him to the house as a friend and did a little prayer for him and that just shows how close they were okay and i'm thinking um as loving hip-hop is about to start on the 27 he's going to be in front of the show um on the loving hip-hop so loving hip-hop africa so i was thinking probably i don't know we might be seeing faces you know i don't know if aka was was that y'all remember that aka was also um, the godfather of um, the other guy who supposedly uh, was going to be on Loving Hip Hop. So we're trying to figure out if AKA was probably maybe maybe there's a scene. He's seen there. I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and find out on the 27 in a few days when they premiere this uh, Loving Hip Hop South Africa. But a lot of people were talking, were also talking about, you know, banner boy so the banner boy situation is that like people people don't understand some people don't know where the beef started okay you remember that back in 2017 18 i don't know how many years was that um banner boy made this song with um aka it was more like a collab collaboration of uh with a couple of artists and then that's it fine and he actually came to south africa and then they did the song beautiful and all of that after this there was that thing that happened in pretoria where you know the uh, nigerians where most of the west africans were getting attacked okay a lot of South africans were attacking the nigerians and Ghanaians. well pretty much people from west africa um, because of what was going on there, you remember that once some guy, you know, jumped through the wind, the, the apartment or something. Like it was, it was a lot that was going on around that time. And then you know, this is the time where the celebrities, especially African celebrities, they should use that platforms to to support and stop this madness. It's our line. You know, within the community, and apparently, AKA had said something and um banner boy kind of uh misinterpreted it basically saying that you know he don't give it a damn about you know south africans africans have always been um xenophobic and and stuff like that They're pretty much saying really bad things they saying that he will stand um with his brothers you know like he will stand in support of his brothers. You know, they were having airplanes, shipping people out of South Africa, back to Nigeria. It was it was really, really, really sad. And AKA did say something which was really nice. It was like, he tweeted Ben about it. was like, well, the best thing that you should be doing right now is helping all these people with your platform. Help uh, 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 send out the positive message. You have a good, a, a large number of following. Help out, say something, instead of acting against it because pretty much Benabo was pretty much was act, was acting you know he was saying bad things about south africans instead of trying to help with his platform resolve the situation 
this is where the beef actually started and one thing that you guys probably not aware of you know aka when i was looking at it people who don't know and i was not even aware he was actually multicultural attracted person he was pretty much attracted by um the lifestyle of other countries today he will support uh, the uh, zimbabweans the next day he will be supporting the swazis either in the form of attire or something like that the next day he will be supporting basutu the next day he will be supporting this by wearing their ties and all that like he was very open um about you know helping um these people and supporting the country not discriminating against other countries you know and that's like one thing that i can give round of applause for him for 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 taking that part making sure that he does not support any kind of xenophobia maybe benaboy kind of took it the wrong way and you know and one thing that i i, I don't know listen i i am a fan of benaboy i am a fan of benaboy but there was an interview that benaboy did a while back uh at the daily show with Trevor Noah the energy the energy at the beginning of the interview the energy was so off the energy was so off and when i was reading the comments people were saying really bad things on that you know saying that you know he's a, he still have that i hate all south africans i hate all you know what i'm saying i hate people from south africa like everybody that's come from south africa they always did they're always that they're always that let me tell you something that happened to me one day so i used to work at this place beautiful place and then there was this person and i think they don't come from nigeria they come from uh west africa somewhere i don't know i think it was ghana so he sees my name he was like oh my god you from this country right I was like, yeah, because he could see my name. My name he he know he could see that cuz he lived there. And he was like, "Oh wow, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I don't fuck with people from that country." I was like, "Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I swear I am not even kidding right now. Yes, if you live in the US, you would see that there's a, a little bit of a disconnect between South Africans and West Africans. It's like really 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 disconnect. Uh it's a lot of people that are really nice and a lot of and in most cases you'll find out this are uh, the west africans really you know mistreating south and african people not south and african people specifically but south african um people because they always thought south african people they always think that they are better they are xenophobic i can tell you a lot of experiences about me we're not going to go there today but this is where we've started and he tweeted also he had put in some rest in peace rip aka on his instagram feed and that's just temporary it just goes away and apparently he also did um the tribute or something like that to honor him i don't know if it was like a little song people were saying really bad things about that and i was like well at least he tried even though and people don't understand sometimes you don't really have to be nice with somebody that was not nice to you the fact that now they are dead now you got to play nice when you were not be nice keep the same energy i i'm pretty sure even the person who is dead where they are they would literally want you to keep the same energy that you showed them while they were alive don't be talking nice things about them when they are dead you know what i'm saying if we were enemies just keep it the same way also the uh, one of the guys that was giving uh, that was talking on the memorial he actually said that aka in a joking way that aka called him a snitch for making the music with Casper Nyovas because you know that you know that they had beef a lot of people were expecting Casper to show up on the uh, memorial and I was like I I don't know I don't know if this was necessary the only thing that probably Casper would do because this is the industry was to respect aka as a rapper you know what i'm saying show respect don't pause all whatever you were doing the the reason why he was not going to be um at the funeral is because he went overseas he came to united states um for um the all star weekend he was invited there even though i don't think he was performing they had uh african artists performing there i think he was invited but he performed i might be wrong but i know that benaboy performed thames performed and the other guy so you know he was part of that i don't know but he was invited at the end of the day this is one reason he mentioned that he was not going to 
I should be there at the memorial because he was invited. Okay. He didn't even have to be there, to be honest, because they were not friends. They were just colleagues in the industry who hated each other. And it wasn't like that really hate, 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 hate. You know what I'm saying? I don't think AKA want him gone or something like that. You know, it was just like a the beef. You know, that's why I'm saying that like, you really, really have to be careful who you wish these things to. Like the relationship that you make with people. If you haven't learned anything from this COVID and you don't want to make relationship with the people, that used to love you or people that love you, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, guys, that was that. Um, you know, a lot of people saying bad things about Zinle and Nadia Nakai. I was watching the video the other day uh, where Mosa Kaola was really talking trash about um, <laughs> about uh, Nadia Nakai. I was like, this is not a good time. Honestly, this is not a good time. I hate profiting. That's why I did not even make a video about this because really I don't want to profit out of people's miseries. I, I don't. I don't. You know? Like Nadia and Akai will find somebody that she will love. But a lot of people right now are concerned about her and the relationship that she has with the family. What is she going to do after this? Are they just going to toss her out? What's going to happen? Because it really looks like she's really close to Lean. She's really, really close to Lean and uh, Uncle Tony. So we don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. At the, at the end of the day, apartment, and, you know, they're going to kick it out and be like, listen, Miss Lady, you don't belong here. This is our son's apartment. So it's your time to go. I just hope we don't get into drama. Nothing bad really happens happens after all this i really don't think and hope that nothing bad happens to nadia after this okay because she, it looks like she was down from the beginning and if things get ruined at the end it will be really really devastating to see that all right, guys. Yeah, I wanted this. That's all really what I wanted to say. Life is too short. Hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Also, uh, hit the like. I don't usually do this kind of news, but I felt compelled to come out here and say something. I do um, a commentary at the local TV shows. If you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button to support your boy. And also hit the like if you haven't done that. We can also be friends on Instagram at Money underscore b-a-g-g at t-money underscore b-a-g-g that's where you will find me if you want to be friends with me we can be friends over there okay all right i'll see you guys with another video